Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to add Cisco IOS router CSR1000V version 17.3 into EVE topology where you should be able to simulate the IOS router. So for that first we will go to EVE's official site for the exact steps. So you can go to how to and here CSR1000V documentation. So you need to have any of these files it is an ISO I will show you from where to download it from Cisco for that you need to go to cisco.com software.cisco.com click on browse all then routers make sure you are selecting virtual router if you select any of the other routers, you won't be getting the ISO image. Then CSR1000V. And here you need to click on iOS XE software. And here you can see the ISO file. This file you need to download. So to download this, you need to have valid Cisco ID. You can create one if you don't have once you download it you need to copy this file to the eve you need to log into the terminal of eve as root user and copy it which i have already done it so step one is create a temporary directory here it is abc and then copy the file to that directory the step two is that I have done both steps after that we are creating here a new hard disk it is word ioa.qcow2 so this is going to be an empty hard disk initially later using this iso will be installing the image into this qcow2 file and then we will copy that to the qmu folder of ng i'll explain that in detail so first let us go and verify the folder so here you can see i have a folder called test and inside that folder i already have the file copied the file which i downloaded from cisco.com this iso file now let us go to eve's documentation and first the step 3 is create a new hard disk let me just copy this and let me put it into terminal now you can see i have only one file here in this test folder after executing that executing this command I'll have one more file now you can see I got an empty hard disk you can see its size is in KBs now then we need to start CSR installation for that you need to copy this complete command let me put it into a text file so only thing we need to change here is the image file name in our case the image file name is this other than that everything you can leave it as default here the memory is 4 GB let me copy this and uh, before executing it let us verify the steps so once we execute this command we will be getting a prompt like this so here what they are saying is we need to select serial console and then it will start installing the image into the qcow2 after that 
after reboot again it will prompt for the same input but at that time you don't need to press enter you just need to give control a then c and type quit so that will come out of that terminal and then we will have a proper disk image with this name and that file we need to copy to the add-on schema later we will be deleting the temporary file what we created so you can see here haram hyphen rf so after copying this to the proper folder we will be deleting the temporary folder what we created so let us start executing it so here we need to select serial console and enter it will take some time to complete this process now it is installing the CSR image into the hard disk Here in this prompt, you need to press Ctrl A, then keep the prompt in Serial Console and press C. Then type Qt here. Okay, it came back to the terminal of ENG. Now let's go to the documentation. So you finished step 7 then we need to create a folder here in add-ons camo let's see what what files are there so you can see here for csr 1000v i already have 1671 and nxos veos other devices are there and when we give naming this part is very important with this it will be fetching the device device identity so we will try creating with the version name number let me copy this and we will give this version number anything we can give and then we need to copy this the newly generated Q code of file to that folder Now let us verify the folder again. You can see I have the new file here, the word IOA file. Now if we need we can remove the test folder. because we have already copied the file to this folder now let us give the permissions yeah that's all now we'll try adding the device select CSR1000V and here you can see I have got one more device in CSR1000V and I will give the name 173 
memory 4 GB then Ethernet 4 save it I'll connect the interface let me power on the device yeah. you can see now device is booting up and here the licensing part uh, in the Cisco documentation you can see when SESR 1000V first boots it boots with boots in evaluation mode and the network interfaces are activated but throughput is limited to 2.5 mbps i think this should be enough for uh, testing or evaluation purposes testing the features and i have tested uh, some key functionalities like uh, netconf and all it is working fine in this image so you can use this for the simulations So it is trying to fetch IP from my DHCP. We can see it has got IP address 0 0.206. I'll change the IP Okay, now let me try pinging to the device 0 0.55 yeah I'm able to ping now let us try enabling SSH first we'll set the domain name then I'll set the SSH key crypto key Let me try accessing the SSH port. Yeah, I'm able to access. Now let's enable netconf as well. For enabling netconf, command is netconf hyphen yang will take some time to enable now let's uh, verify netconf the default port is 830 so it is accepting the connection so we are able to get the netconf response from the device even we can verify it from python first uh, let's see the get capabilities request here we'll change to the new IP let's try initiating a request to the device so 
So you can see here I'm getting the capabilities response from the device. Now let's see the get config. Okay, I have received complete configuration. Here you can see the interface configurations and all. In another video, I have explained all these scripts. Now in filter for the filter to work in 17.3, need to add additional value here. Now let's see the host name filter. Yeah, you can see here I'm receiving the host name CSR-17.3. Similar to that for filtering the interface. So I'm filtering the gigabit one interface configuration. So I have received IP address subnet mask details in XML format. So uh, this is how you can install a CSR 1000V 17.3 into Eve NG topology and execute the task. I hope this video is helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.